Howdy, KH. Hey, y'all. How's it going? Good, how are you? It's been a couple of minutes since uh, we sat in here and did a fridge fame. Yes, it has. Many people have joined since you were last on. I know. We've got yeah. so many new subscribers. <laughs> new subscribers, meet KH. KH is the... Uh, Hi, y'all. Hey y'all! <laughs> hey y'all! What are you anyway? Um, You're the grand poopa of Acme Mo. I'm the boss, according to KLC. The, the grand poopa ass of uh, Acme Mo. No, like I'm, that. I'm the boss. She's not the boss. <laughs> Where's my shirt? Ah. Uh, I have to go get my shirt. <laughs> So, uh, JT didn't give me any footage today because it was raining all day today. And he didn't get me any yesterday because he was so busy working that he didn't have time to get me any yesterday. Yeah. So you guys are getting the Fridge of Fame episode. <laughs> if you guys don't know what the Fridge of Fame is, uh, you guys need to send me your card or sticker. The address is in the description of this video and I'm probably most likely putting it up right alongside what I'm filming here. So you can't, don't have an excuse not to send me your card, sticker, or whatever. You don't have to be a lawn care company. You can be something else, and we're still going to put it up, and we're still going to talk about your social media, if you yes, haven't. Yes. So if you send me your card or sticker, and you got like a Facebook, or a youtube -age or instagram -age or something along those lines, uh, let me know so I can uh, speak Highlight its praises. It. and. And show I folks. I on the Fridge of Fame episode, this is one of which the, we haven't done in forever. This is one of the things that we like to do on this channel, or we used to used to like to do, is find all these channels that people would send us, and mm -hmm. man, you never know. Yes. I've really found some good ones using that method. Yes. So, uh... And, you know what? You also have, um, the camaraderie of having what's it called Ben? hold on you can edit this yeah i'll edit it out you also have the networking so like the other day i was listening to ben on the phone with this lady who was an older lady and she was crying because her husband had cancer and her he, husband yeah. Oh, died from cancer, yes. Sorry. He actually died from cancer. Yes, and yeah. she needed someone to come mow her lawn, but, you know, it's not in our service area, but we knew contacts. We had a networking system where yeah. we contacted Rob. Rob from, from Waymaker. From Waymaker Lawn Care. And then he... And Rob was like, Ben, I am so busy, I can't even take another... And what a great problem to have, am I right? Yeah. You guys, are you guys having that problem this year? We sure, we sure are. <laughs> We're getting so many calls. Yeah. Uh, he's like, Ben, I, I just can't take it on. Uh, but I do have a friend that can do it. Yeah. Jason. Would you just, like Jason's number? Just I'm, getting started and Jason was so yeah. happy. Jason. Jason just getting started and met Rob like three weeks before that or something like that. So Jason, if you're watching this, send us. Yeah. Your card or Send us your card sticker. or sticker so I can keep referring dudes to you and Heck ladies. Yes. <laughs> mm. So it's been quite a crazy couple of months. I've been doing almost nothing next to nothing. Mm -hmm. Including getting a haircut or a beard trim. <laughs> We've kind of been hermited it up in yes, the house. Yes, we have. And we're kind of bummed out, you guys, about everything that's going on mm -hmm. with all these new Delta variants, etc., that are screwing up our traveling plans. Yeah. We're going to see Dropkick Murphys next month. We're going to go. Yes, we are. Yep, we sure are. Hey, you know what else? We're going to be down in Atlanta, Georgia. See Dropkick Murphys next month. Join. We have been hibernating for forever. We've been stuck up in this house and we're ready to start traveling. Heck yes. We start next month. Yep. And then the following month, G. I E G I mother F and E with me G I E a G I and an E yay <laughs> okay so uh, you guys might have seen my G I E video please disregard the part about the caverns because apparently they're going to some 
bourbon place, not bourbon place, brandy manufacturing place or something. The uh, social get together. Yeah. Is going to be at like a uh, brandy manufacturing place, which I think will be cool. It will. Hey. The Maybe best. not as much fun for the kids. Yeah. Uh, but definitely fun for the adults. Heck yeah. Especially if you like your brandy. <laughs> and uh, I can tolerate it. Uh, I've had the best margaritas have had brandy in it. All the best margaritas have brandy in it. <laughs> so guys, I don't know what's going on in your neck of the woods, but in our neck of the woods, it's been busy and it's been rainy today. Oh, where is... We've also had this thing, this uh, infestation of army worms. Have you ever seen those son of a bitches? Man, those things are terrible. They'll eat up a lawn in a quick hurry. Mostly Bermuda. They really like Bermuda. They don't mind rye. Uh, I think any variety will do, but they really prefer Bermuda. It's like on the top of their menu list. Uh, if you don't know what an army worm is, this is what it looks like. And uh, this is how you identify them. Cue the footage. Is it there? Please, or, or please. Is it up here. <laughs> please disregard the KH. And please. I'm I'm frantically looking for And please note the upside down Y symbology on the top of the caterpillar looking type structure. Oh. That's it. Okay. So Those I'm are army worms. I'm looking for the... There it is. I found it. <laughs> so those are, our, those are what army worms are. We had a request. Okay. We did have a request from Mr. Moosey. I remember this Bring this, this back. This so. is the ask me a question bucket. Mm -hmm. So any question that gets put in our comments gets copied down and put in the ask me a question bucket. So we have several left and we're gonna answer them all, regardless of how oh. old or who they're addressed to. Let me put my Sally Jesse, Jesse Raphael glasses on. Only the old people will <laughs> know who Sally Jesse Raphael is. <laughs> I promise you. The Your mirror and lawn out. service. Man, the edits are good. Who's doing it for you and for how much? Hmm. Thanks, man. That's an old question, Romero. Yes. That's from like a year and a half ago. That's yes. how long we've done this. It's been since we've done the, the ask me a question bucket. It's been a while. Yes. yes. So I'm doing all the editing. I know, I know. Look at that yeah. big dumb dude with that overgrown beard. How can he possibly? <laughs> make any sense out of anything. Well, I've been uh, doing it for the last four years. So it's a hobby and I'm starting to like it. I'm starting there to get in. There are all. the, what are those called? The stickers or the things, you know, the art animes or whatever they are. Oh, the logos? No, like your Oh, the, like the intros and all yes. that? Oh no, yeah, I don't do any of that mm -hmm. stuff myself. That's I hire what? all that out. Are you yeah, kidding me? I'm no artist. He's asking. For that information, Oh, that's I not think. editing, though. Those are just, oh. yeah. I think he wants to know who's editing. Okay. He thinks I hired an editor. Oh, no. And I'm complimented he, by that. But yes. But that's not for the, that's the first thing. Why do you think I binge watch? All right, next question. All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Moosey Mowing and more Incorporated. The guy that wanted us to bring this back. This mm -hmm. is why, probably. Here's a question for Lex. I see you wear shorts, so do you have white feet? As most of us do when we wear shorts during the season. I call it the landscape tan, LOL. Ben, did you smash the whole pipe or just break the, I don't know what that's referring to. Where? Ben, did you smash the whole pipe or just break the, uh, dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> uh, I think Lex has... Uh, she can tan very well. So, her feet may not, but she sits out here and she tans. So, who knows what color her feet are, and she's not here to answer. I would say they get tan. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Oh, no, if she's wearing tan tennis shoes, they're probably white. White. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But she's already pretty tan to be tan. Yeah. She Next question. It. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Handy stars. 
When is Handy Stars coming to fix your fence? Question when is, mark. Man, that was way long ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the yeah. Handy Stars actually came out last year. Yeah, but we still and need... Me, and help me put up... the. Well, help me. They did it basically for me, put up yeah. the back fence Yes. back there. We were supposed to do that this summer. On this However, side. However, wood is so dang expensive, wood. we can't afford it. Wood. Yes. Right. Right. Okay. It's not like it grows on trees or anything. Okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? You just can't get yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So DT's lawn care. When do you start turning down lawns? Do you have a number in mind? We don't have a number, dude. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I, I keep saying this on our channel, man, is we don't really count how many lawns we have. We don't really have that as a measure of our success. Rather, we count how much property we we cut right how many acres we got how many acres are we cutting this week right how many acres are we cutting today how many acres is the next place that's what we like to to look at it yes you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i hope that answers your question it's not how much how many properties it's how many acres and we don't have a number in mind we're going to keep taking them on until we can't take them on anymore and we can't fit them in our schedule mm -hmm. and we're right there right now okay <laughs> Another handy stars. Who is quirkier in the bunch? In the bunch? Uh-huh. I guess that was when, you know, um, there was a bunch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, you already know the answer to that question, man. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> Okay, Josh's, Josh's Lawn Care and Landscape. Yeah, Josh, what's up, buddy? Uh, how would you decide to leave a, a full-time state job with good benefits slash retirement and going full-time into lawn care? A full-time state job with great benefits. You're going to leave that job and go into lawn care. <laughs> Man, you must have a terrible job, boy. Because those benefits are awesome. You're not gonna replace them. You're not gonna replace state benefits with lawn care business. No. So you better be you better be feeling like you're pretty healthy, I think. Yes. Uh, and like you got no problems in your family. If you got health problems in your family, cancer or heart disease or something along those lines, I don't know if I'd quit a state job, bro. No. And don't believe all the hype. You don't have to love what you do. You don't have to. Uh, you can make... Okay, so the Hero 8 again quit working uh, all of a sudden. So uh, I'm forced into this vo voiceover deal. And I'm kind of glad that I am. Because I got to watch this footage over again. And I was thinking about my answer. I'm going to answer it a little bit differently than I initially would. Uh, would have. Because I did a little thinking on this thing, man. You know, when you ask me that question, uh, I shouldn't give you my advice. I can tell you what I would do. I would not quit the state job. I'd keep the for sure thing. I've done that myself. I was in the military for a while, 20 plus years. And, you know, I got that pension. And I stayed in that for that 20 plus years for that peace of mind of that health care. Uh, you know, and that for sure money coming in month after month. That's why I stayed, man. If I was a little bit bolder, though, I would have gotten out at 10. Maybe uh, I'd have the biggest lawn care company uh, in the state of Oklahoma or something by now. Who knows? So I'm not going to give you advice. I'm just going to tell you what I did. Uh, I, I kept the benefits, bro. You don't have to love your job all the time. Uh, if the benefits are good and you've got a family, sometimes, you know, you need to weigh that. Uh, you know, you can't be... I don't want to say you can't be happy all the time, but uh, there is a yin and, and yang to life, right? So look at it that way. I'd like to hear what some of uh, the people that are watching this video would do in your particular case. Would they quit a state job with for sure benefits if the job was so crappy they couldn't stand it anymore and, and start up a lawn care business with no for sure future in sight? 